Hello, and welcome to the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. We have so many things to do. Actually, how close am I to a level up? Not very close, unfortunate. We will gain that level sooner or later. I need to sell off that food. Can I take you? Is there anything I need to leave here? I don't think so. Alright. Need something? No, not right now. I need you. We have plenty of books. Created potions are more powerful, more powerful. I definitely need to replace these with something a little bit more creative, shall we say. Something that helps us with smithing. Anyway. Four plants. Okay, well, what exactly am I going to plant there? I want... If I remember correctly, I wanted to creep cluster, but it didn't seem to grow well outside. So. Taking creep cluster. Hmm. Let's take one of you. Definitely one of you. Imps too. I'm gonna need that. It's one of the few artifacts that can actually damage health and lingering damage health. If not the only one, it is incredibly important to use that for my next poisons. Marotapanella. That makes it five. Very well. Let's plant those things, shall we? Start with the giant lesion here. Next, Crypt Cluster. Good. Here we're gonna plant the Martapanella and fly Aminta. Outside we will find a place to plant some Imp stews. Right. This is for alchemy. This is for alchemy. These shoes we need to sell. And this is for alchemy. We are missing an amulet, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely. Okay. Don't need the grand cell gems here. Pantia's flute. What do you need? I hate it when I get quest items for quests I have never actually activated. I think she's somewhere in solitude, and this is exactly the place which I must visit. Place a marker here. Right. Which one of you do I not need? Clear this. There. Once we come back, we'll have a decent imp still. And we can create two poisons. Speaking of which, let's take out some river berries. We have mosquitoes here, that's a good sign. Gotcha. 
Okay, there. Gotcha as well. So many fishies. Okay. Starting to drown here. Let's fix that, shall we? Okay, come on, guys. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And one more over here. Great. Let's cast the spell a few more times. It is incredibly loud, isn't it? How close are we to the next level up? Alternation? 73. 50. Expert alternation. Okay, let's go back to the house and leave all my ingredients in there. I need to build an enchanter's stable. If I remember correctly, I just need a gold ingot. Six river betties. Good. Just because I am gonna forget Crypt Cluster. I do believe one of you combined with this and there was something else. The giant Legion? No, it was something else. Grass pot. No, it wasn't you. The mirror's wrath. We don't have a lot of those. We have only one pearl. We need to seek more. I think it was this one. Let's take a look. We create the potion of fortified carry weight. Incredibly expensive potion. We're gonna use that to level up. Of course it will be much better once we have the helmet that increases our ability for whatever reason. Now we are not gonna seek a crown, no. I think we're gonna make a hat of smithing or whatever. Something I forgot. Let's see, weapons, you. I'm gonna leave it here. Shiny. Let's move out. And again, I have to go back now. Wait, what happened? When did this come from? Arcane Enchanter. Nails, we can make those. Glass, we have that. Refined Moonstone. I remember bringing one home. Iron Ingot. Grand Soul Gem, definitely have that. And the Gold Ingot, yes. That's it. So again, we need a Crypt Cluster. This thing. Uh, 
and this one. Okay, you don't have to tell me it's planted. Amazingly, I still have eyes that work. I can also plant a potato here. And this is new as well. Is there anything else we can build here? No. I might need to build myself a kitchen next. Alright, we have things to sell. Good. Let's move out. We're still going to solitude. Now, out of curiosity... Because I actually don't remember if that was the case. Alternation... Two more, I think. And just one more. Let's get out of the water. Cast me. I see. It does make sense, doesn't it? Now, here's the thing. I wanted to learn to pickpocket people so I can leave poisons in their pockets. And they can be damaged by that poison. However, I have enough money, so that won't be an issue. I'll just kill someone and gonna pay my fine. Rich people can get away with everything after all. Okay, alternation 75. Let's see if we're gonna reach 80. Okay then, where to next? This way. And there is a fox in here. Quite a lot of foxes in my time. How close are we? Just one more. There should be enough. Indeed it was. You guys can take care of yourselves. Yes, that does indeed look very pretty. Let's move up. That's one powerful creature, isn't it? And its so is now mine. To use forever enchanting one of my blades. Or something like that. I still haven't decided what to do with it. It's such a petty soul, isn't it? And we have a nerd root. Good. Just 19 more. In fact, I don't need 19 more. All I need is for a few of them. Okay, let's swim across. Go to the blacksmith. 
and purchase a gold ingot. Then we can continue with our quest. Seventy-five, right? Seventy-seven, even. I love it when it rains. It looks so beautiful. Dark and gloomy. Okay, there's level 78. Don't get stuck. Where did I got stuck in? Hm. I honestly don't know. It seems like there was an invisible barrier. Noises. And I was unable to penetrate it with my... Stepping. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. Pay no attention to the guy casting. What was it called? The detect life? Yeah. There are a lot of animals out there. Well, some of them are horses. Hello, beauty. Yo, dude, sell horses. Work hard for the future? That's what I'm here for. What are you offering? I'm gonna offer you a thousand gold. Good enough for me. It's the one with the saddle. If you're heading up to solitude, you should stop to check out the view on the way. Cool. Um. Hello. I just purchased this horse. Why? Why does it sell st steel? I, I purchased that horse. Who's there? I assume it's a dragon. Yeah, it's definitely a dragon. There he is. Show yourself. Okay, let's go kill him. Actually, let's try not to fight this guy. You should know, if I actually don't find my horse, you're a dead man. Show yourself. I knew it. Is that him? That's a big dragon. I'm not the best one to fight a dragon, but I will. Okay, please don't hurry up, dragon. I mean, I can shoot you all day. Now it would be great if you could actually pierce the wings of the dragon and it would crash to the ground, unable to fly again until finished off or he runs away. Like a normal human with the legs, except he will have huge claws and can breathe fire. Even walking, he'll be superior to every single one of us. Ouch. Did that make me weaker? I honestly have no idea what you do. Again from there. Khajiit? What the? Did he just disappear? No, he teleported. Oh, okay. I was worried for a second that the game was acting crazy. And he teleported again, that's the same guy. Come on, keep fighting him.
don't know where he wounded me. I think it was that screen that he actually weakens me with. But I cannot be certain. Come on, guards. You know what to do. Actually, I have no idea why I haven't done this already, but... There, this throw will help me. Found the bow. I'm pretty sure that hit. Alrighty. Actually, he missed here. Or maybe he hit me, or... I actually think, not only did he miss, but I walked on his flames. And that's why I got a little bit scorched. That's why I'm gonna stick an arrow right up your tail. Keep shooting at them. Don't worry about the guards. If they die, I can loot their bones. It's not gonna be a great loss. one of them. Aim for his eye. I think my monster is killing them quite handily. And down he goes. Good night, dragon. Also, Imperial Soldier, I'm gonna take your booze. I'm not of Sandor. Honestly, love the Solitude Shield. And ours. Most because it's red. Well, honestly, that's the only reason. Ah, good. Let's go sell stuff. You. I know. In this place. Do you seek to make a purchase? Alright. But if you get arrested, do not blame it on me. So, I actually haven't trained this level. I should remember that when I level up. I don't want to waste a point. I need to train myself in destruction. Walking the World, Volume 9. Where's the Khajiit merchant? I need to sell some stuff. I know it's not you. I never would have believed it. But where have I had Wait. It with my own I know eyes. you. Sure. All right, then. In all my years, I have never seen such a... I have gods. It may be dead now, but... Don't have any that are for sale right now. I purchased a horse. If you don't deliver it, I will not feel any guilt when I put you down. Maybe if I walk out of the area and walk back in. Get out of the way, brat. Steal a horse. I don't need that. It's such a beautiful animal and I cannot keep it. Well, a thousand goat, I can throw it away. Yet, it's a principle. You must die for that. And he will, in time. Right now, I have other things I need to attend to. Let's go to the marketplace. We have things to sell. Foods, potions, and other soul gems. Ah, it's called a standing stone. That makes no sense. Wait, I know you. You stop saying that, you don't. This place is locked, as always. That spell looks dangerous. Keep... 
Are you talking about the Dramora Lord? Look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. You. It's good to see a fresh face. Take a look. Gonna get all the ingredients you have. Right now I do not need them, but it doesn't matter really. I do need an amulet, but I do believe that I have one at home, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, that's your potions. I was wondering why do I have so many. Okay, I need to sell this. Resist shock. Resist fire, 20%. Wow. Strong. Stamina. Magicka. Healing. More stamina. Minor magicka. Carry weight. That's the one I made at home. Look at that. 494. Gonna cure the disease potion. I'm gonna keep that. Light feet. Harder to detect. Okay. I mean, we're never gonna use those potions. They're incredibly weak right now. We usually use poisons for tougher enemies, and 38 damage is nothing. We're fine. Block 10% more damage with your shield. Standard bless you. You don't have the money for that. Don't Good enough. Next time Let's move out. No, no, we can talk later. In fact, we can talk after I'm done here. And suddenly the rain is gone. I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. Still locked. Hey. If you ask me, this damned rebellion can't end soon enough. I had to end my tour of Skyrim's courts. Too dangerous to travel. I understand. Here's your flute. I know you never asked for it, but it's... It says your name on it, so it must be yours. And I automatically know your name. Because I'm the Dragonbor. You know, we're telepaths. That's it! Wonderful! I knew I could count on you! I don't have any money to give you. But I can show you the tricks I learned playing for the Winterhold Wizards. Now you can say you've met the most talented bard in all of Skyrim. That was actually a pretty decent reward. Can I go Spare in now? Not yet. Veteran? I'm not gonna give gold to veterans. If you can fight, go and earn it. Or die. I don't mind if you die. Yo. Yes? I have things to tell. Take a look. Let's see, do you have gold? Ebony, glass, grand cell gems. Okay. Iron. Moonstone. You don't have gold. Big shocker. Well, I'm gonna sell the bones and scout. That dragon had no bones whatsoever. Probably wasn't that important then. Books? Well, we're not selling my books. I still haven't read them all. Oh, the foods I have. Yeah, usually I eat them, but I still have stolen food in my inventory. Might as well eat that, right? Potions, cure disease, healing and magic. Okay, both of them I can use at some point. Elven boots of brawn. These are pretty decent boots. Carrying capacity is increased by 40 points. 37 points. These are the ones I crafted myself. They are shoes, but they are incredibly important to me. Okay, you can have those gunglets. Let's get out of here. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Huh. Wait. I know I here and You keep saying that, yet you do nothing about Take it. A good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I uh, might Oh, let me just away. drop. Take a look. Yes, you're charming. Let's see. You also don't sell any gold whatsoever. 
Now this is bad because I do believe I was looking for gold even before that and I didn't find any anywhere. But I want to purchase a hat. Chess hat, no. No. Something not enchanted, please. A cow. Sure. We have the boots I need. Fine clothes. We are not gonna switch our clothes. A fine hat. Gold ruby necklace. We have exactly the same necklace at home. Gold sapphire ring. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna purchase one of the hats. I could have gotten this one, but it doesn't matter. Two-handed damage, one-handed damage. 35 points. That's actually pretty decent, but I am not going to waste my money on it. I can make a better one. Finally. Okay, let's see how this hat looks. It's fine. It looks fine. Let's get out of here. So this hat we're gonna imbue with the power. Of smithing and alchemy. We do have gloves, hat, boots. Actually, I'm not sure that we can upgrade you with alchemy. No, you, we can. It's so, bright out here. so what nice. was what were the things we can imbue with alchemy? Hats, necklaces, rings, and hand and gloves. I was gonna say hands, but yeah. So this is gonna be an alchemist hat and a smithery hat. What is it? Before we go, I actually need... ...to go to the blacksmith and purchase some gold from him. I am sure he has some. One gold ingot, that's all I need. You need potions? Head over to Angeline's aromatics. Hello. Seems there's the finest weapons and armor. Good for you. Weapons. Ah, uh, no, actually, it's misks. A think. Leather, leather stripes. You have silver, but not gold. I am extremely disappointed. Return anytime you need arms or armor. My anyway, we have to look for a priest. Won't be that difficult, I hope. Wait, I know you. I was gonna go with my horse, but it doesn't seem like it wants to follow. Hello, butterflies, and you're blue, the best kinds of butterflies. For now. Yes, the dragon is dead, we all know that. Hello, my dear man. Need a ride? Uh, have you seen a moth priest? It's one of them imperial scholars, right? Old man with a grey robe. That's right. Have you seen him? Might be that I have, but I can't say for sure. I got enough troubles on my mind just trying to scrape by out here. It's very important that I find him. Now that I think on it, I did see your priest. They tried to hire me for a trip to Dragonbridge, but I told him that ain't one of my stops. You could have told him I can drive you to Solitude. Right. I mean, Dragon's Reach isn't that far from here. I purchased my horse. I want to use it. Okay, that's it. You're dead. 
Let's see. Illusions. Frenzy. Okay, dude. Can't even give up. Can I cast calm on you? No, it's in magic. Illusion. Not my problem if she kills you. I just wanted to kill this guy. He annoyed me. And there are still people I need to kill that have also wronged me, shall I say. Now, if that horse actually appears, I'm gonna go and apologize to his wife. Before we proceed, there is a Stormcloak's camp right outside of Solitude, which is a brilliant way to have one. It's like having the city under siege. So I have to keep the spell up for quite a long while now. And I'm level 80 alternation. That's cool. What can I steal from you? A shield? A helmet? Take the... okay. Deadly butterflies. I was not expecting you to be stronger. <sighs> no worries, they will lose me soon enough. my pickpocketing level? Just asking. One handed, 85, that needs to be improved. Light armor, 53, almost 54. My sneaking is at level 98. Pickpocket, level 30. Once it reaches level 40, I can poison people with my potions without them noticing me. That'll be great, because having a potion of frenzy is far superior than not. Hello. What do you need? Good afternoon. Foreigners. What a nuisance. What's that about? They thought I was some other Red Guard woman. They just wouldn't leave me alone. I hope they get lost in the wilderness. Yeah, that's reasonable. They mistook you for someone else, so you want them dead. I can understand that. Okay, let's go talk to people. Hello, Sarah. Welcome, traveler. Mind yourself in our town. Do you about raising a family in these dangerous times? Of course. Every night I pray that we don't get a visit from a dragon or that two armies don't show up to fight over the bridge. You ask if I'm worried. I'm terrified, if you want the truth of it. But I have to stay strong for my wife and children. Do you know anything about the Moth Priest? A Moth Priest? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. What the hell, guy?
Okay, guys, you can stop fighting now. Just forget it. Oh, look, wheat. Okay, apparently I can't convince them that I'm not an enemy and that I want surrender. Then you have no reason to want me dead. Actually, no reason to want bounty on my head if I kill any of you. Ah. Oh. Let's visit the inn and see if we can actually get anything we want from there. Oh, gold. Anyway. Something different about you, I can tell. Hope you ain't here to cause trouble. No, I'm here to ask about a moth priest. Until next time. No, okay. What about you? Do you know anything? I'm hoping to run my own inn someday. I can kill her if you want. That will definitely give you. Anyway. Let's move out of here. If you're looking for a room, a moth priest. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about that. Try asking one of the guards. Okay, I would, but they keep attacking me Until for no good time. reason. What do we have here? Nothing. That looks kind of recycled, doesn't it? Have you met my husband? Well, don't bother. He's a drunk. Now I think about a moth priest visiting Bragon's Breach. Nah, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Useless. Okay, I'm gonna continue down the road. Right, I'm gonna continue down the road to see if we can find a guard. He's not exactly hostile to me, shall I say. I need to start searching for some crypt clusters soon enough. Hello, what do we have here? Imperial Guards and the Vampire. With two vampire dust in it. I guess it's a special vampire. Effect of the Elder Scrolls. It is widely known among scholars that the Elder Scrolls entail a certain hazard in their very reading. The mechanism of effect has at present been largely unknown. Theories of the hidden knowledge and the divine retribution were the subject of ideal speculation with little investigation. Justinian Polotus have undertaken the thoughtfully documented and alignments affected by the Elder Scrolls on their readers. 
though a unified theory is how they manifest continues to elude me and remains a subject of future study. I have groped the effects into four findings from the avenue of experience, depending largely upon the minds of the reader. If this is unclear, I hope that the proper dictography will lay it plain. Group the first. Okay, how long is this book? I'm not gonna read it that much. If it's long. It is pretty long. Fine, that's gonna be the next book we read before we go to bed. Okay, we also found a different book on the vampire, because vampires are dumb. I have new orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of Dragon's Breach. Take the Maud Priest to the Forebear's hideout in the safekeeping until I can break this will. Malchus. Such a pity. I mean, I could have followed the blood trail. That would have been great. Just follow the blood trail until we reach something that resembles the place you need to visit. Oh look, another incident. What do we have in here? A red card with boots. Okay. Dwarf Queen. Sure, I can take that. And the horse. I think we've already looted that then. I'm trying not to look at the marker. There's some blood. Come here, little butterfly. Okay. From here, I can see one more over there. Um. I have no idea what just happened there. Here. And here. Good. There. And another butterfly. I don't care about the yellow ones. The blue ones are the ones that are important to me. Found it. Okay. You have to take my word that I didn't follow the marker. So, we have detect life, detect death, bound swords and sources. A white cap. Not bad. That's a nice place. see any stuff so let's move on hello puppy guess what I'm going to gut you who's there help yourself wait did I just kill your that was weird Forget about this one. Let's move on. Bleeding crown. Very slowly.
This is interesting. I don't see anyone. Okay. Ah, there he is, the throw. That was a good cut, I'd say. Elven bow. Now, enchanting those bows will be incredible because we can actually make them incredibly expensive. With petty gems, no less. Okay. I could have tried to pickpocket you, but... Nah. Just a vampire. This one will be easy to kill. What about the other one? Malchus. Blooded. Okay, start with you. Broken will. They'll have fun. Just hit me with your spell. Was that the last of them? I think that was good enough. Let's take a torch and examine this place. Actually, let's try the spell. It start with B, no, with C, okay? the chest, what do we have inside? Leather Helm of Magicka. A Conjure Storm Anthrock for 60 seconds. Not even that great. Conjuration spells cost less to cast. I can use that. was relatively quick actually. A waystone focus. Take this, apparently we need it. Iron sword. Destruction spells cost less to cast. Okay. Just in case. Wrong one. Wonderful. Where'd you come from? I honestly have no idea what to do. You yield. That wasn't me. You were fighting. I could see through my eyes, but I could not control my actions. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold over me. Yeah, let's go with that idea. You arrived just in time. I think those vampires were getting hungry. What do you know about the older scrolls? Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. 
These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls, though in time it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. So what does a Moth Priest do exactly? It is our sacred duty to study the Elder Scrolls. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future, and we use that knowledge to aid the Emperor. Sometimes, we venture out into the world in search of more scrolls for our library at the White Gold Tower. That is the very purpose that first brought me to Skyrim. The White Goat Tower. Tell me about that. It is the great spire at the heart of the Imperial City, among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. The lower floors are home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Altmeri Dominion, and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its former glory. Okay, are you alright like I care? <sighs> I'm quite alright, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. They needed you because we need a moth priest for the same purpose. You do? All right then, enough mysteries. I'll explain right later. Right now, we need your help, and time is short. Well, you saved me from those vampires. I suppose the least that I can do is hear you out. You can find us a Fort Downgar, near Standard's Beacon. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. That looks cool. Again. The lightning is kind of different, so it looks a little bit better. And here's the torch. Speaking of which, water breathing. So I'm level 81 right now. Okay, how do I get up there? Kinda got myself stuck in here. Can you climb? There we go. Don't get stuck, please. Come on. Specifically landed on that track because I didn't want to be taken away by the current. Let's move out. Yeah, take the torch. I think it's a little bit easier than just casting a spell over and over again. Welcome back to Skyrim. It really is a wonderful place. So, we killed the dragon, fought some vampires, and now we are gonna hunt some butterflies. A little too far for me, both of you. Okay, I need at least two, or just one. 
Uhren. I don't think that the tech lives will work on them, but let's try it out anyway. Nope, it doesn't. They are not alive. Come on. Don't do this to me, game. Damn it. You know, alchemy could be made so much easier if you just have a book. Every time you go to an alchemist table, you just open the book. And there shouldn't be even an animation. Just a book right next to the alchemical ingredients. Well, the mortar and paste, or whatever it was we used to make the potions better. And every recipe we acquire is just written in that book. And we have pages with letters, you know, like normal people would do. It's quite different than what we have here. Mostly because you have to create the potion here in order to remember how you can make it. And also, it's very user unfriendly if you ask me. Which is a shame, I love alchemy in every game. It's basically the unfair advantage we use to make ourselves stronger. Where am I going? I think we need to return to Solitude. Marthal. Now go to Solitude first. Gonna see if I can take my horse. Now that he is dead, that shouldn't be much of a problem, right? What happened to you, mate? And table. Do you have a book that can tell us? No, just clothes. And a dagger. Is that a wooden bow on the floor? That's a very small house you have. And you don't even have a door. That's bloody hilarious. Let's get out of here. Okay, once we reach the stables, I would have to figure out where to go. To Riften, to continue the Dawn Guard quest, maybe? Let's continue with the water breathing. Level 82. Not much more left. Get lost. Not only are you weak, you're also useless. Okay then. Dead. So where to next? Stop right there. Oh no, I killed a person. I owe you 140 gold. Okay. Smart woman. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. I mean, 140 gold is nothing. 
Guard might get nervous. A woman approaches with a weapon. You took me here. Wait, hear my plea. My master, he is lost between worlds, and I cannot bring him back. Oh, lost between worlds. Well, you sound insane, so of course I'm gonna listen to you. My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Why don't you leave your master? Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Okay, where can I find this master of yours? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Jarl. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Okay, the mind of madness. All right then. Mind yourself in my city, lass. This here axe in full swing is. A you stay out of trouble now. The Castle Dower dungeon can break even the strongest will. When is your next execution? Ain't got one, but I'd fancy a chance at that Jari Ra's scrawny neck. Filthy Argonia never would have set foot in this city if High King Torig was still alive. I can tell you that. Keep your head about you. And what has he done to you? Need something? So you're the one who executed the man? Aye. I'm the headsman here in solitude. It's my job. So, do they keep you busy? Depends on what you mean by busy. I'm also the head jailer in the dungeon here. Quiet job, usually. Oh, so you just look at the prisoners and when you feel bored you behead them. Such a great plethora of jobs. Just watch yourself. You don't want to meet me up. Okay, magic. The effects? Nothing. Job. Very well. Let's get out of here. Well, at least we no longer have a bounty in Solitude. I'm gonna see if I can actually have my horse now. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sigic monks. Man's been hitting the skooma, I say. Okay, I am actually looking into the Sigic monks. Tell me, where did you find that man? Honestly, it doesn't matter. Now, there was a guard who was stuck over there. Yep, he still is. That's great. White Run guards. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. More like an arrow in the head. That's why you keep repeating yourself that much. And no, it's still not my horse. Well, he deserved to die then. Keeping that ring of yours. Let's get out. Also, do you have weed here? Doesn't seem like it. As I say that. Six, not bad. So, let's talk to you. Ah, uh, wait. Before that, the Prophet, report your success to Isrun. Again, Isrun is a stupid name. There was a mine I needed to clear. Obtain ore sample from 
pill jar. Okay. Was near Makroth. Return to Idgrod. Okay, that might happen. Classic mine. Find Red Eagle's sword. Kosker mine. Very well. Just make sure what was the name of the city we need to visit. I could have taken my horse and fast traveled there, but no. Right, you. I can take you. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. I hope I didn't press the wrong button. It's night, dude. Vampires everywhere. Vigilance. Need something? May the crags fail to trip your feet. Can I buy a horse? That would wasn't surprising he stayed loyal to the Empire. His father helped capture Ulfric Stormcloak after the Markarth incident. Ooh, that's interesting. What is this Markroth incident? It's the whole reason Ulfric revolted against the Empire. Well, the first reason, anyway. Force One had taken over Markarth, and Ulfric and his men drove them out. Empire promised they'd be free to worship Talos afterwards. Pity no one told the elves. Whole group of those Thalmor came, and they demanded Ulfric's arrest. Ah, yes. I actually remember reading about that in the book called The Bear of Morkroth. Such a pleasant story. He was merciless to old the Force Lorm, if I'm not mistaken. So, who are these Forsworn? Before the Nords came, we worshipped the old gods, had our own kingdom. Times have been good and bad since then, but some folks couldn't handle not ruling their own land. Those are the Forsworn. The Force One follow the old ways, but some of those were best forgotten. Blood sacrifices, communing with Daedra. It's the road to ruin. Good. Safe travels to you. Okay, I don't like this horse. In fact, I don't see a different one. And oh, there it is. Yeah, it's the same with the saddle. So, there were four sworn here. Let's hope this mine has gold. Actually, there is a mine close by. Also, there is a nest here. With chicken eggs, no doubt. That's cute. And bird's nest. This is a rock wobbler. Is there more? Okay, you have guards Wait, in here. I know you. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Wait. I can pay my fines here as well. Well, I lost him, so that's not gonna happen. Is there wheat in here? Potatoes, potatoes. Oh, I've lived through rebellion, forsworn, undead, witches, wizards, hag ravens, <laughs> and marriage. This guy's hilarious. That's why I'm never gonna get married. It's a real torture. Oh, uh, let's remove that marker, we no longer desire it. 
Oh, hello. So we found four eggs, just by traveling. But we're gonna find more here. See? Yes, it's an egg of a different kind, but still useful. Alternation 83. And an urn wood. Good. Just 18 more. I mean, we have more than enough. Is that hanging moss? Cool. Is that more? Yes. I barely saw you. Actually, I didn't. It's because I walked close to you that I figured out that you were actually an ingredient. Okay, please tell me there is gold ingots in this mine. Just need one. Hello. Just in case. Go play a Ravager. Good work. Oh. Nice. Oh wow. This guy's strong. I was sure I was. Oh well, he was strong. And another rubbish, yeah. Can't hide from me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can't hide from me. That was close. Two arrows, and it's all over for me. That's why I want my enchanted equipment. Don't need any of you. Okay, not bad. That's not hanging moss, is it? No, it's not. Interesting. It looks just like it. This is ill. Two of them, in fact. And some juniper berries. So, what's in this house? Babel's house. It's locked. Not for long, I hope. Do you have a bed I can sleep in? No, it's owned. So is this one. Wait, is that gold? No, that's bread. No food, thank you. Just eat the bread and drink some meat. That will keep me awake for a few more moments and let's enter the mine and see what we have to deal with in there. More chicken. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, once I enter the cave, I'm going to tell Sabrana to wait for me here. Wait, what? Hmm. Fly Amanetta. Good. And I'm gonna enter alone. 
so far. This hasn't been... Oh, you're off on your own for a while? All right. I just guard the door, make sure no one surprises me. And never should have come here. Oh, you didn't say that. I had your mouth covered. That means you cannot speak. Finally gold. And I don't have a pickaxe. Darn it. Maybe I'll need to return once I have finished this, once I have a pickaxe. Sack of flour. Taking that. You have a lot of gold. And pheasant. Ah, cool. I can do away with pickaxes. I'm actually curious to see if that's gonna work or not. Okay, let's try to pickpocket you. You have a black soldier. Success, good. Now I have your soul as well. Not surprising that I actually managed to steal that, considering that the black soul gems are very expensive. Very close to a level up. My sneak scale is at 99. I'm gonna reach 100 very soon. My alchemy is at 83. I bet that one of the next episodes I'm gonna reach 100, but right now I'm fine. Smithing, enchantment. I actually need alchemy 90, I believe, in order to have my ingredients checker. Master of mind. No, that's illusions. Oh, should I? I mean, I don't know what to do with the perks. <sighs> I honestly don't think it's worth it, but I can make it legendary. Snake blood, resist all poisons. Well, I guess that's fun. Whoa! Don't know how that happened. So, how many people do you have here? Are you alone? Can I pickpocket your heart? I can try. Done. Ah! I mean, I'm surprised he didn't caught me pickpocketing his heart. Hello, goading it. That's all that I needed. Now let's mine some gold. We can actually improve my... what's that called? Smithing skills. Weapons? Let's see. Oh my lord, it works. The ore is depleted. I mean, sure. Salt pile, get as much as you can. Do you have a hoe in your chest now? Can you turn around? Yep, look at that. That's cool. As I said before, do wielding pickaxes. That's the way to mine. It's so natural.
Didn't see if I get any stones except the gold. Usually mining does give you some gems sometimes. There you go, diamond. Hmm. Nothing in here, nothing in here. I can jump down, I think that's a shortcut. Just take as much gold as you can. We've cleared out the mine, might as well take the gold with us. An empty vein. Okay. If I press both buttons at once, does that count as two hits? Someone there? Wrong spell. Can't hide from me. Yeah, just watch me. He's stuck. Wonderful. <laughs> Right. No, no, weapons, please. You know, you could have made it like Solid Snakes, uh, Metal Gear Solid, where you just opened the inventory with a single button, not pausing the game, at least not always. There I go, anything else? No. More pickaxes. If I had a third arm. Yeah. More gold. Okay. That's pretty rich. We're almost at the exit. Wait a second. Hello. I couldn't take the box out for some reason, but it doesn't matter. Alright, let's take a look. Where is the next one? Empty, good. Is there more? What do we have here? A pickaxe. Well, I can enchant these pickaxes. If I could just enchant them to mine the gold with one swing. No, not this way. There was another place right here. This is where I found gold first, so... Okay, just mine it like that then. Yeah, this is not the best thing in the world, but apparently it's good. A little too late for me to go back to the old ways. Are you gonna give me diamonds here as well? No, it's depleted. Okay, what about you? I actually don't think it's working. 
Okay, there's more gold right here. And I actually found another diamond. Diamonds are the most boring of stones in the entire universe. I have no idea why they are so expensive. Here, a flawless ruby, that's much better. Alright. I say we get out of here. Do you need something? Let's go. Okay, let's take a look at how much gold we can make from this ore we found. That's it. Just keep smeltering. Alrighty. There we go. Let's move out. So, where to next? I was hoping... Uh, yeah, we have to tell this guy that the mine is cleared. Good news, the mine is completely empty. Also, I killed the full swarm. Cool. You know what would be great? When you take those screenshots, they just appear in a book or something. Kangy Moss. Careful not to fall. That's mine. And... Gotcha. That's a lot of ingredients. Butterfly wings. Okay, let's try to steal from this guy. If he catches us, we're just going to... Of course you do. I'm the Dragonborn. At least, that's what people tell me. Pickpocket, 34. Stop right there. Okay, you caught me. Smart woman. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. Occupy the fire, of course. With 80 gold, sure, I mean it's not a lot. I actually have a question because I did steal a black soul gem. No. He was an enemy, so stealing it was not that much of a problem. Yo, you so good. You're not one of my workers. What are you doing here? One of your workers. You hard of hearing. I run this smelter, and I'm late meeting our silver quota. What do you want? So you own the smelter. What? No. Thonar Silverblood owns it. He owns everything in Markarth. But he hands all the paperwork over to Nepos, the nose, to finish. That old man's back is heavy with burden. So what do you know about the Force Swarm? Every other day, seems one of the laborers runs off to the hill saying he'll join the Force Sword. You don't like the Nords? Fine. But pledging your whole life to killing them, that's just dumb. <laughs> I actually have to agree here. All right, let's take a look. There has to be an alchemy shop nearby. That's the exit. That's the inn. What business what do college majors have in a place like South on any homes? I said homes, you backfire. Give a crippled worker a helping hand. You wanna give up now? Out of fear? Is that what we're gonna teach our daughter? Did you say something about money? Aye, a whole 
heap of it. You see that temple? Way up there? All them women keeping to themselves? Won't let poor Degain in, nope. Not even for a look. But they've got a treasure in there. Gold statue size of a child. Who knows what they use it for, but I know what I'll use it for. So you want me to steal that statue? <laughs> well, let's not put it like that. Wouldn't want the thieves' guild catching wind of us, eh? Nah, just creep in and have a go at taking it out. I'll be here and pay you half of what my man in Riften promised for it. You'll be helping out an old beggar and the divine smile on that sort of thing. Indeed, here, have a good call. Finally, now get lost. He's such a great fellow. That's the trading company, eh? What do you sell in here? I, I actually don't care. But let's take a look. Maybe there's something I can use. You hear all that noise outside? It's just the market travel. We should get back to work. You there, if you're here to trade, step up to the counter. No, I'm not Arnleaf. Yes, I know it's called Arnleaf and Sons. Okay, if you say so. What do you have for sale? Take a look. Okay, we have gloves. What do you do? Resist fight. Ooh, increases your magic huh, by 70 points. Not bad. I have so many things I need to sell. Okay, let's start with everything except the dagger. You can have the Force Worm Bow. Now we're gonna use those arrows. Gonna keep these daggers. And the Orcus ones. Steel arrows. I thought they confiscated them. Amulet of Sandor. Conjuration Magic Thumb. Shoes. Expensive shoes. Silver Garnet Ring. Okay, do you have any stones I can use? Grand Soul Gems. Might need those. Even you don't actually sell gold. It's amazing. Come back whenever you need something. Okay, that was not bad. Excuse me. Do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? A Vigilant Thanos. Why are you asking, my lord? I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. So, do you need any help? I'm from the Dawn Guard. I was actually just about to head on inside. Good to have someone watch my back. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. Well, why don't you go in and wait for me there? I'm gonna go purchase some alchemy stuff. Some ingredients. Alchemy. Uh, alchemical ingredients. This place is a true labyrinth. Watch the skies, traveler. You too. Treasury house. So where do you lead? You know, I could have gone into that sanctuary in the world of those dark brotherhood types. But I was uh, sick that day. Oh, I haven't heard that before. Congratulations, you actually said something original. Sorta. Let's see how many times you're gonna repeat it. Shrine of Talos. Oh right, you have the Shrine of Talos, because that was the agreement with the Dark Elves. Or the Empire, actually, but whatever. Temple of the Bell, huh? It's gonna be from next time. Where? Is that store? Let's take a look. Map? A keep? A laboratory? Tower? Trading company, house, abandoned house, Edwin's house. 
Valindro How. I don't know what that is. Treasury House. I'm gonna keep searching for it though. That's the guard tower. I am curious. Wait, that's the top of it? Then it's not a guard tower. There is nothing in here for me. I want to see if I can get a nice view from the top of the guard tower, but no such luck. Where's the door? There I go. Mark Roth. Careful not to break your spine. Ouch. The Force One have been spotted to the north, near Bruca's Deep Rhythm. I work silver. My wife Kira runs our jewelry stall on the market. Is that what I needed to find out? No, that's the treasury house. Damn it. And this is? This is the house we can actually purchase. Okay, I'm pretty sure there is... Out of my way, Kinsman. Wow. I haven't seen anyone being so rude and so polite in the same sentence. Out of my way, Kinsman. Please tell me that's a place. That goes to the Hall of the Dead. You go to... A ruin. Get lost. You're the one casts those ah, there you are. The Hawk's Cure. Hello. I'm Bothella's assistant. She's the one you should talk to if you need an herb or a potion. Well, she looks wonderful. I have potions for disease, love sickness, irritating children. Okay, you're the best alchemist I have ever seen. So, what have you got for sale? Take a look. This is amazing. Okay, let's sell this. This. The shoes. We are never gonna use you anyway. Elixir of Strength. Potion of Minor Healing. Extreme Magic. Keep it for now. I said that and then immediately sold it. Now you let me know if you need a cure. Wait, is that an enchanting table? No. Then why did you do that animation? Potion of stamina, nothing here I need. Right, let's go to the inn. Sleep for the night, and the next morning we're gonna make them um, do some quests for this town in particular. Be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of me. Staying out of trouble, Kinsman. Okay. Torch, please. There we go. Now that I finally found the alchemist shop, I am completely lost. The warrants. <laughs> okay. We found the blacksmith. Tacitus, what is this? Uh, a nail? Is that what you call it? In the Legion, we would have called it useless. Look how brittle the metal is. I, I'm sorry. I just don't. The forge gets so hot in my throat. You thought what? You would skip a step, not heat the metal all the way through? Now do it again. I'm Gors' assistant. I help her with the forge. 
Gorza is the one you should ask. Don't bother with Tacitus. What's wrong with your Useless. apprentice? Tacitus? Boy, he's an imperial. I keep showing how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the imperial smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Wisdom of the old, I guess. You find a book called The Last Scabbard of Actors, but you bring it to me. Tacitus sure isn't learning by example. Okay, if I find one, I will bring it to you. Thanks. So, where did you learn how to smith? Grew up in a stronghold. Every orc girl tended the forge at some point. Girl has to grow up, and life in a stronghold asks for a lot in return. So I joined the Legion, mastered my trade. So you grow up in a stronghold? That's right. An orc stronghold. Kept to ourselves, lived as our ancestors would have wanted. Wasn't enough for me, though. I left. Didn't want to end up as the third wife of some lowly chieftain. Cool. Until next time. Right, where's the inn? Ruins, dead, oh wow. Okay, I know it's close to the exit, so let's follow the path. Outsiders. Ah, right. It says in, so of course I thought that's not the place. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Why can't the men? This, in this is the Silverblood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Okay, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Drinks here are watered down. But they're cheap. Karen. I'm sure Your I'll find some adventures at the every inn I just in Skyrim. Up. Let me know if there's anything else you need. If I can't get take a look. Okay, let's order some food. Apple pie, that's for dessert. Baked potatoes, grilled leek. You don't have meat. There we go. Guards are free to search your Frobby, a customer needs a drink. Good day. Oh, I had actually a lot of food. None of them would cook, so maybe that wasn't a bad idea. And now let's read a book. Which one was it? There is a journal effect of the Elder Scrolls, that's the book I was reading. Group the first. The knaves for one who have received no training in the history of nature of the Elder Scrolls, the scroll itself is effectively inert. No prophecy can be scribed nor knowledge obtained, while the scroll will not imply learning to the unformed, nor will it affect them in any advertised fashion. Visibly, the scroll will appear to be washed in old letters and symbols. Those who know their astronomy often claim to recognize constellations in the patterns and connections, but such conjectures are impossible to further investigate, since the very nature of the study necessitates unleashing the subject. <laughs> Unlearned subjects. Group the second. The unguarded intellect, it is this second group that realizes that the greatest danger for attempting to read the scrolls. These are the subjects who have an under understanding of the nature of the scrolls and possess sufficient knowledge to actually read what is inscribed there. They have not, however, developed adequate discipline to stave off mind-shattering effect of having glimpse on infinity. These unfortunate souls are struck immediately, irrevocably, 
and completely blind. Such is the price for overreaching one's faculties, in bears meaning, though that with the blindness also comes a fragment of that hidden knowledge. Whatever the future, the past or deep nature being dependent on individual and their place in the greater sphere, but the knowledge does come. Group of the third, mediate understanding. Alone in Tamriel, it would appear that only a code of ancestor mort has discovered the discipline to properly guard one's mind when reading the scrolls. Their novelties must undergo the most righteous meth um, mental cultivation, and they often spend a decade or more at the monastery before being allowed to read their first elder scroll. The monks say this is not the initiate's own protection, as they must have witnessed many unguarded intellects among their more eager ranks. With appropriate fort fortitude, these readers also receive blindness, though at a far lesser magnitude than the unguarded. Their vision locks slightly, but they have retained shape, color, and enough acuity to continue to read mundane texts. The knowledge they gain from the scroll is also tempered somewhat. It requires a strange meditation and reflection on fully appropriate and express that one saw. Group the Fourth Illuminated understanding between the previous group and this one exists a continuum that has at present only been traversed by the monks of the ancestor of Moth. With continued reading, the monks can become gradually more and more blind, but receive greater and more detailed knowledge, as they spend their weak hours pounding the relevant and also receive a further degree of mental fortitude. There is for every monk a day penultimate reading, when the only knowledge the Elder Scroll imports is that of the monk's next reading, shall be seen his last. For each monk, the penitent reading comes at a different and unknowable time. Primary work has been done to predict the occurrence by charting the severity of the individual. Monks blindness, but also all who reach these latter stages report that the increasing blindness seems to tapper with increased reading. Some pose the notion that some other unseen sense is the fact continuing to diminish at their upper range. But I shall leave such prostitutes to philosophers. To prepare this ultimate reading, a monk typically withdraws to a seclusion in order to reflect upon a lifetime of elevations and appoint his mind to reception of the lost. Upon his final reading, he is forever blinded, as such as those unguarded ones who raised to knowledge. The illuminated one, though, has retained his understanding over a lifetime, and typically possesses a more integral notion of what has been revealed to him. It is hoped that this catalogue will prove useful to these who wish to... those who wish to further our mortal understanding of the Elder Scrolls. The Mord priest remain aloft above these matters, taking the gradual deliberation that comes with reading as a point of pride. May this serve as a useful standing point to those hoping to take upon such a study. Dictated to Ostius, Metric Port of Seed, Last Seed, in the 126th year of the Second Era. Cool. Now let's sleep in this comfortable bed made of stone with a leather sheet and something that passes. What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? I already ordered, but I'm gonna take your soul. Thank you. I should remind Clepper to clean this place up. Wonderful. Okay, 6 a.m. That's a decent enough time to start a quest. Anyway, so this is where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you all for joining me, and I'm gonna see you all next time. Goodbye.